Hello everyone and welcome to a Just a Cheeky episode. So there's a little bit of a change up coming up for the next five or so weeks ready for the new Elden Ring DLC. Um, usually I would be playing Dragon's Dogma on Wednesdays, the videos go up every week. However, having looked back at sort of the views and the gameplay itself, I think I'm going to put it on pause for the time being until some new DLC comes out. I will probably actually still play it off the screen, but for your viewers' entertainment, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit uh, for the next month or so, just up to when Elden Ring's coming out because I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming for that, a lot of uh, videos also for that, different playthroughs for the DLC, my mage run and my normal standard big bonk run. So thought change it up, gonna do some sort of sim games, any games that you would quite like to see, you're more than welcome to give me a comment, let me know what you wanna watch. So it's just gonna be nice and chilled. I have chosen this week Manor Lords. I have played it a little bit. I've watched a lot of YouTube Manor Lords gameplay uh, because it's just awesome. It's such a great little game. It's a one developer person that's done all of this. It's absolutely incredible. So I, I think it deserves at least one episode of me playing it and you can see what it's like. Just a nice chilled out game. Um, basically you build your village up, you have lands, um, you start off with an area and then you um, eventually build up an army to get more lands, etc., etc. However, I have not gotten that far. Um, uh, basics for me. So, the music's amazing as well. So hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I know I am going to be playing it. We're gonna go for this lady here. She looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, can I change her name? Yes. Pixel, yep. And then let's have a look here. I don't think there's any doggies, which would have been a great crest family crest to choose but what have we got we could go a bit skyrim dragony we could be a snail we could be a weird leggy thingy a castle i am from england and we are known for our castles so maybe that or well, great britain is known because obviously Wales has some amazing castles, etc. Uh, could be a bird. I'm a bird. Um, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's horrendous. What was that? Oh, a chicken. Chicken's my favourite food. That's it. We're done. Chicken it is. And let's go for a bit more of a feminine look. Golden chicken, I mean, they are yellow most of the time. Right, I think that is good. Let's get into it. So we'll just be, do our default, balanced, all that good shiz. And you can get this on Steam. It still says it's early access. I think the developer is still working on it, um, but it is on Steam. Excellent. So yeah, we start off basically in a camp. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'm not very uh, adverse with the battle side of this. I didn't really get that far in the game when I was playing it um, chilled out. But in Manor Lords, families need food and fuel and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above shows how much you've got left. So we currently have some timber, stone, tools, a bit of food, some bread, firewood, which is good. So we have basics. I'm going to start. What do we think is most important? I mean, I know they have like that we definitely need to get some sort of woodcutter lodge 
We also need to look as to what amenities we have. So we have berries, which is food source, stone deposits. We have a mining iron, clay. Oh, we've got quite a bit uh, around here and hunting, which is good. The berries are definitely going to come in handy. What We're in March, so it's probably prime time to get that underway. So we need a forager hut. And I think I'm going to try and get it as close as I can to this sort of foraging area. Let's do that. And then we need to build a road just so that they have access. Let's just build it like that for the time being. And then, so we have one orc, which is good. They can get some food, they can forage for the food. We might have to assign a family. I don't know how many families we have. Well, once that's built, I'll do that as highest priority. And then I feel that we need to maybe think about wood. Understand families work on construction automatically. That's good, that's what we want at the moment. Right, so we need to have this. Oh, I like the fact that we're sort of mountainous here. That's quite cool. So we put the woodcutter's lodge here. It's not too far again, but it's sort of prime location for wood. And then we're just gonna do that. Okay, so that will be the next thing. And then maybe, how many families? We've got 10 people. So I think now I want to build some residential, some burbage. Now, I reckon, so you can have big burbage plots or smaller, but if you have bigger like this, you can have, I mean, I'm assuming a lot of people that watch this may or may have not seen this game. So I just want to explain a little bit. You can build a property and then you have these long gardens, which means that you can put chickens and grow carrots or all sorts of things, which is really, really vital for food source. And it's just an easy way to start kicking off um, as well as berries, because berries are seasonal. That is one thing I will say. You only get them sort of, if you come here, uh, springtime, frequent raining, seasonal, seasonal deposits regrow. So that's when your berries will grow. And then they start sort of calming down towards the end of summer, um, sort of midsummer. So you can only rely on getting, harvesting those berries at that point. And then you need other food sources for over the winter because the more families you have, the more food that you need, the more food that you've got to harvest, etc., etc. So this is a big deal right now. We need to basically assign a family to this so they can start getting some more food for our winter period, which is going to be, you know, that type of thing, it's gonna be needed. So then we have exposed goods, obviously, because we don't have a supply storage yet. So we could do that. Um, we definitely can do a hunting camp too, but let's see, granary, storehouse. That's kind of what we need, cost two timber. So if I put, I mean, kind of, you'd probably want it with the supplies, but I don't think that they, put the supplies in the storage once it's built, like the existing supplies, I'm not sure. I'm gonna just do that nice and tidy. And then we gotta start thinking about, right, so if all of this area is gonna be forested, um, harvested, etc. Probably want most of our saw pits are, we can get a forester's hut so they can start replanting the trees as well. So we don't just basically ravish all of this. And then we have our main sort of living quarters here. We will need to eventually to upgrade, build a church, etc. as well. I've heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Sign and sealed my own seal, Hildebolt von Beren Root. Can I write back? I'd like to be nice, but I have no influence at the moment. So I guess we're just going to say that. Probably what not what I choose. So this is our area. 
And then we have all of these areas owned by other, well, not outlaws, but this dude, um, I think he owns, I don't want to talk to you, these parts. And this is all sort of outlaw area. So no one controls those areas for the time being. We have to be aware of bandits as well. They come in and they literally just are savage with the, the village, they don't care, etc. Right, so where, here I am. So I need to really, really concentrate on trying to get armies, etc. first. So the other thing that I think is going to really benefit is trade. Now, I am looking for something specific for trade. This, this, this is a good trade point. So if I can be at the border here, or this actually would be much more beneficial. Your trade is going to be vastly improved. Or here, this might be closer. So if I build, where's the main road? Here. Okay, so it goes in there. So what's this side? Main road. Ah, so the main road is already here. If I look to build trade points, I really want to get that on the go as quickly as I can. We need to also just be aware we need to bring in as many families as we can. We haven't got enough yet, and that's just purely because... Have we constructed the wood yet? <laughs> yes. Okay, they're building it now. Let's get that very high. So we have four families unassigned, which will be working on these areas here. As soon as they're done that, I will assign someone to the woodcutter lodge because we need timber to build anything. And then the rest of them can start on the actual burbage, burgage, sorry, plots there. So if I just speed this up a bit. It's a real logistics type of game. You have to think of everything. You have to be prepared for bandits at some point. I don't think they would come in so early as now. And honestly, they don't really have anything that they can take. We only have a small amount of supplies. We only have a, a few people. So that it's not gonna be too soon yet that we will get bandits, but we need to be prepared for trade. I wanna get trade ASAP because that, if we can't harvest that much and we get bigger families, we need to trade for food. We need to try and up, level up our burgage plot so we can start making things like clothing. We need to open up a stall so people can trade their food as well. We need the storage plot so we can start putting our supplies in there. We might need at some point a new, another orc as well because orcs um, carry a lot of the load. Excuse me. Um, so we need all these things. There's all these things running through my mind. I want to try and be as clever as possible. The other thing that I'm going to particularly concentrate on is farming. Farming is the way. You need farming for things like the tavern, which you need a tavern to upgrade eventually the, the village itself and the people. So that's really important. Also for windmills to make bread, etc., etc. These are all massive important things. So farming to me is going to be very important. So I think farming is probably going to be around this area. I really want to get the trade post done first, and then we will look onto farming. We have a couple of burgage plots to be built too for the people ready for winter, because you know you don't really want them being intense. So this, this is a big deal. If I put two people on here, then we still have two families or two members that can build the burgage plots. But we'll get some timber. We, we desperately need the timber to, to build anything. So yeah, they're foraging for the berries, which is good. That's all good. That's ready for the winter. It won't be so bad the first winter because we have a very small village. So the people won't be requiring to, you know, gather a lot of food or store a lot of food. But at some point, we'll also upgrade the hitching post so we can get another um, orc. Yeah, so they, they're now starting to want, you know, marketplace places and stuff so that they can sell and trade their food. So it may be, we've already getting families in. So it may be also that we do the 
Every region of the Lord's Manor has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resources, deposits, as well as investigate soil fertility. That's for farming. For deciding the direction of your town, if your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. So that is a very good point. So we can do crops. Then at some point we will have sheep, pasture. That's good for clothing as well. The windmill will convert the uh, flour for bread. So let's just have a look to see what we've got. We've got this whole area here. Now, I'm not sure. Careful, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. Make sure you have a logging camp before placing more buildings. Come okay, on, Come on. that's obviously what we need to do first. Logging. So we've got the woodcutters, but we need the logging camp for the timber. So we'll put that. I don't even know if I can build it yet. I need them to be cutting up more, is what I mean. There's so many things to consider. Um, but once we've done this, we'll just have a quick look at the farming and see what fields are going to be good for us. Uh, so they're doing that. We've got the burgish plots up, which is good. So if I go into here, here we go. We can have goat shed provides a passive yield of hides, which is really good for trade and for uh, clothing, which you will need for the market. And then we'll have some chickens for eggs. Now, they don't yield a lot of eggs, but the more baggage plots that you can have, the better. And eventually we can trade that sort of stuff as well. We still haven't got any timber. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, please tell me. Come on. I can't build until you sort it out, mate. Can I stay where there's drink? What should I do? Maybe, maybe I'll put three families on there just to try and get as much timber as possible and then we can get the logging camp up. We've got the storage, storehouse there, so that's good. We're cooking, we're cooking. We just need this stuff to sort it out. Um, it might be, I don't think we're having to build anything else up yet, so I might just put it will come up with a warning saying there's no one here to build, but we honestly, we don't have anything to build yet. Because we need the timber. They are working, so... Fuel, we've got firewood. What we need... We need the logging camp. is already full but I mean that's fine uh, see we're already getting eggs which is good all right let's just take a couple off here um, it may be that I need to Let's have a look at here we haven't got anyone here it's just storing firewood at the minute, which is not ideal. I need logging. Um, so I can't build anything yet. I mean, we've got fuel at least. What if I just... If I can demolish that, construction resources will be refunded. So I might just need to do this to get my timber back because I think I made a slight error. Uh, someone's talking about nipples. Good. So we get the logging camp done and then we get the timber. For some reason, I was thinking the other way around that it's... Yes, sorry. That it was woodcutter gives you the timber, logging gives you the fuel, but... Anyway, we've, we've worked it out, it's fine. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a hand cart... Yeah, we're building roads, don't worry. Okay, and then we'll have this as super high priority. We've got one person on there, that's all we need. And then we'll get this store. 
um, storehouse back soon. Let's just get this built and then get loads of people on the logging so we can get our timber. But at least we've got fuel as well, ready for the winter. Uh, berries, we've got plenty of berries, which is good. We've still got bread. So we've got 13 months, according to this, of food and 29 months of fuel. We have literally such a small amount of people here. So that would be why. Why we're okay on fuel and food at the moment, but I'm telling you, it gets tough with the food if you're not clever, which I'm not, so it will get tough. And also, if you want a view, you can come down and look at this. You can go and watch, watch some work. This is, I mean, this is great. I love this. This is such a good uh, concept to come down and just watch what they're doing. See how they're building stuff. Look at that. That looks almost done. There's the woodcutter's lodge. Fantastic, right? So, yeah, you can do that as well, which is cool. It's very cool when um, there's, like, a fight... That's, that's something else. That's probably another day, hopefully. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Cool. Well, human workforce has been assigned by default. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. Yeah, that's fine. But we're, we're not going to be doing that at the moment because we just don't need to. I'm just going to take him off. We've got plenty of fuel and then we can get some timber going on. Let's see how this goes. Let's just fast forward a bit. And then when we've got that, we can actually start building some other bits. So we've still got home. Yes, I need to... This is, this is what I mean. We need basically a storehouse, some more housing and then start maybe the farming, see what farming we've got, because that's another thing. If I don't have great soil, then I'm going to be having to open up the trade ASAP. See, we've got four timber now, which is great. So let's just have a look at the farming. So we want some fields. Some builds, buildings have flexible borders, place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to the rows. Buildings to try and create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. The first two points marked on the front of the house by default. Yeah. This is what we want. This is what we want. So here is green for Emma. Uh, Emma is... I'm not actually sure. Barley, rye, there's lots of rye. That's interesting. It's even more so than, than Emma. But what we'll do is that, so that's the area we want to, to put our field. And then it's slightly green here. But if we do this, and then I know there's quite a bit of, foliage here but we really want to capitalize on this green area and hopefully the woodcutters can sort that out as well so usually oh let me just make it a bit bigger it says about one morgan for the start of farming so that should be fine Okay, farmhouse. Employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionately in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing your crop types or even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Yeah. Makes complete sense. All right, so then we kind of want a farmhouse... If I put the farmhouse, can it fit there? Like that. That's good, isn't it? And then we'll just do that. Cool. 
Right. And then you get a whole... That's, I mean, that's a whole new home yep. as well because the family will move. There will be a family dedicated to the farming, at least one family, and they will move into there. We're getting our timber going. Yes. So I still think it's important to open up trade. The only issue is, is that we don't have many families at the moment, so it may be that we try and get some more moving in. And therefore, we need some more... Burgage plots. So if I get another two on the go. Lovely. And then we need to do the storage, don't we? Um, da -da 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 -da. Here. Storehouse can go. We had it like that, didn't we? Good, cooking. Cooking. Lovely. And then at some point we need to do the marketplace. So I'm thinking maybe a bit more central. I'm thinking also future builds. We need the manor for us and administration. Um, and we will need the church especially. So the marketplace is here. Maybe we have the church here and then the residents surrounding that area. Um, marketplace. Trade. No, it's not there. It's... Maybe. Wooden church. Yes, we need that. Well, oh, goodness. We need, we need water. Definitely need water. So if I put them there... Uh, marketplace. So, what do we think in here? Like that. Boom. Nice. Cool. Well supplied marketplace is lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set stores up automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. There should be. Hover over specific categories to check current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And hopefully most, if we're more central here with the residents, it should work out with the marketplace as well we'll keep the farming to this side because i think that's where the best yield will be there's like here so i think that's good don't really get anything around here which actually works out quite well this area so we could probably do another field here next to it at some point so that's good yeah um so the next thing probably might be there's obviously we have some clay and iron and stone, which we will definitely need, especially when we want to upgrade the church to a level two, because that will be stone. Um, mining will be a bit later, I think. I'm just wondering whether we want to put in trade. We want to be as near to that trading outlet as possible, which was here and is on the main road. Perfect. Let's do that. There is obviously livestock trading posts as well, but we haven't even got sheep or pastures yet. So that will be eventually something that we look at. Okay. And then uh, maybe after that, it will, we'll have a look at the hunting because we will need that for hides and for food. We're doing okay for food at the minute, 10 months. So that will, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That will literally get us round to when the berries um, replenish again. They are growing at the moment. So we want to really, what have we got? One family. Okay, that's fine. It's all I can spare at the minute because we just don't have enough families moving in yet. And then what we will need to do is we will need a forester's hut so we can replenish the trees. So if I put that sort of here. And the last thing we'll need is a saw pit so we can change the uh, timber and the wood into 
um, planks for building. So let's just do that. And we'll have that come round there. And then all the wooded area, like the wood, the cutting, the timber, the planks, and the forestry to reinvigorate the woods and the trees regrow is all in this area, which is good. Mercenary companies are, again, um, like a, a battle or war thing, so you can hire mercenaries because if I go into here, you'll see we will need not only members, but we need sidearms, shields, bows, armor, all sorts of stuff. So if you have enough influence, you can hire mercenaries as well. We do not. And the way that you get that is um, tax the manor house and also going and finding bandits, bandit camps, which we're just not anywhere near at the moment. We're just building our village right now. So hopefully we won't get um, invaded or anything anytime soon. I really hope not. Right, we have the farmhouse. Look how many people you can get on the farmhouse. We just need more members in the village. We need more people moving in. We already have a little food store, which will probably be the berries. And the eggs, excellent. How are the eggs doing? We have one lot of eggs. As I said, you don't really get a lot just by one house for eggs, but still, it's something. I'm going to literally build another lot here. Cool. If I have to spend another winter in Albert's farm, I'll have to freeze the balls off. Cool. We kind of want someone here. How are the berries doing? Because as soon as the berries, I mean, they're full, rich deposit at the moment. So kind of want them to just carry on with that. So as soon as that's diminished, which will be, let's just have a look here. Harvesting plowing. So we want to be harvesting in autumn. This works out. So after summer, because we haven't got any crops at the moment. So September onwards, we want people in the farm to start harvesting and plowing and sowing crops ready for then over the winter. So in the winter, we won't need anyone in the farm, which works out. And then sort of summertime, we can start having the crops grow. So note to self, once the berries have diminished, we'll move those two members into here. They can start um, growing the crops, plowing the fields, ready for it to set in next year's yield. That will be the aim. And hopefully in that time as well, more people will be moving into our new homes. Uh, let's see, so we don't have any resources now to get any more chickens or carrots or anything. We need to look at the church. Um, at least we're starting, we're gonna start with the goats for the hides and clothing, that's something. Yeah, goat and chicken are there. So we just have to wait so we can add some more. And then look, you can have some armorers, bows, and start with the cobblers and everything so that you can basically um, start building materials and clothing for armies, etc. So it's all good. It's all good. Storehouse is open, so that's nice. What are we building? We're building, building a saw pit and the forester's hut. Have that as high, and then we'll have the trading post, won't we? That'll probably be the last thing. We just need more families. That's what we need. More people to move in. If you zoom in, you can see we've got goats there. Oh, chickens. Oh, I don't know what that goat was doing. So cool. I wonder if I can just come in. We, where are we? Where be us? Let's go up here. Oh yeah, look, here are the goats. Let's go and say hello. Hello. Lovely, good setup. We've got the chickens there. Excellent. Love it. Okay. Let's just fast forward. Need to remember to keep an eye on just the timing here. 
But it looks great, doesn't it? I think it's just a lovely chilled game, but you do have to strategize and think about what you're doing, about your land, what amenities you have available, things that you might come across, bandits, people trying to, you know, claim your your territory, everything. So we now have 11 months of food, which is good, and eight months of fuel. We've got a lot of timber now. So if I take one off, he's still got a store, so that shows that he's got a store built up. Um, and then we'll just leave that family on a sign so that we can build a little bit quicker. Right, so that's done. And then we'll be on to the forest, forestry hut. I want to keep them building first so that we can just catch up. And then I'll assign them to the saw pit, I think, because we might need some planks. Where's the church? What do we need? We've got five to me. Yeah, we need 20 planks. So we'll need to start thinking about that too. So we're in July. Let's just keep an eye on the berries. That's good. And also, if you are able to, you can upgrade this and then you get herbs, which are good ailments and um, like things, to, like medicines. And you can then trade that as well if you have a surplus amount. It's so quiet, but it's just a small village at the moment. You wait. You wait for this to really, really kick off because then it's crazy stressful as well in a good way. So we've got Z plus three. We've got plenty of living space for people as well. And we've still got another three burgage plots to be built. So I think that's more than enough for the time being. Hopefully it encourages more people to move in because that would be good. We're 49%, so we've still got homelessness. But on honestly, you can move in here. No? Like, there's no... I don't understand that. But hey, hopefully they'll figure that out. What are we building now? The burgage plots, maybe? Let's just have a quick look. Oh, settlement level increased. To get more population, you need to have empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be over 50%. Yes, we are trying. A strong militia is paramount due to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them for other lands. Okay, let's do that then. Right. So, maybe here... We can rally, minimum of five, equip recruits required. Um, we've got two here, two here, okay. So we still need to grow that a bit more, which is fine. Yes, we are trying to build burgage plots, I promise you. You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will try to find the required equipment the weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the village's residential level. After bringing all necessary equipment, the home unit, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Yes, that is something, I'll tell you. All right, can we have these as very high, highest priority, get them built. Oh, so what, where are we? August. So we're very, very near to starting our requirements to harvest, to grow, to, to plant seeds, plow, etc. Family members join one of the settlers. Burgage plot level one. Excellent, so more people in. That's what we need. I don't know if we can level up any of these yet. No, not yet, but soon. Come on, Ox. We definitely need another one of them as well at some point. Uh, pitching post. 
So we need coin for this, which we have none at the moment. But once we do, I think they're 20, yeah. Not enough wealth, no, we definitely don't. So yeah, we will get another one. I have never ordered a horse yet or gotten to that point, but it's definitely something to look at. And then you can upgrade it to a stable as well, which is cool. Um, we haven't got anyone here. What, what are we doing? We've got you. We haven't got anyone here. We still haven't got anyone here. They're all doing the berries and building the baggage. Okay. Just conscious of my fuel level, five months. Maybe at some point I need to take someone off building to just get some more wood, cut some more trees. <laughs> Every time I zone into their conversations, they're talking about nipples. Excellent. So that's nearly done. What do we need? Church level, fuel, staff. Store supply and food. Okay. But that's going up pretty quick. So then at least we can put some more peeps. Maybe one of you go on there. Get some fuel. Get a little market stall going for the fuel as well, for the people. That should tick off those boxes. And then we should be more than fine uh, for fuel going forward. Especially in the winter months when we're desperately going to need that. That's almost done. Excellent. And then it will be the Forester's Hut and then the Trade Center. The Trade Center will be last, which is fine. He's cutting away. Oh, he's constructing the well. I forgot about that. That's almost done. There you go. Cool. Excellent. We've got the dude on there and he should already have a stool. There you go. Still in August, berries are still going strong. What have we got now? Still got 12 months of uh, food, which is excellent. Cool. So you can see every now and again, a tree falls down, which is quite a cool little uh, animation for the wood cutting. Have we got planks yet? No, not yet. Mm. Hopefully that's not near. Where are they? Okay, then on the other side. So that, we should be fine. She says. <laughs> Terrified. Terrified of the bandits. I've played, as I said, I've played this for a few hours on my own and I got absolutely ravaged by bandits. I was not prepared. I had no army. I didn't know what I was doing, obviously. But um, yeah, it was it was quite a, a bad time. But we are at 51% as well, which is great. So hopefully more people will be keen to move in. That's what we want. August probably will be ending soon so we can take the people off the berry deposits. Although they're still going strong. They should diminish sort of around, well, they will stop they will stop um, producing and growing um, after the summer, I think. So we don't want to over, over harvest them as well because at, this isn't in, infinite at all. At some point it will just stop. Right, so let's just play a minute. I want to take at least one of you off there while we're still doing that. And then we want to harvest, so we want wheat. And we want to assign a family to that. There we go. And then eventually what we can do is we can build a windmill and a communal oven. So the windmill will then turn the flour, um, turn the wheat into flour and then the flour can go into the communal oven and bake bread, which is fantastic. We definitely, definitely want that. Um, and at some point we'll build another field um, and what we can do is interchange the following for each field so that we can keep the soil healthy as well. Yes, we want them to plough the crops, love. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So that's good. Uh, but it's no harm. I mean, there's only one person working on that. We don't have many people just to, you know, keep them on the berries for the time being. I think we'll be okay. Um... Got someone on the logging camp. We've got someone in the woodcutters. So that should help our fuel 
yeah, it's already gone up to seven months from five. Got 50 berries, got no more bread because they've all eaten it. We've got still got one egg. <laughs> Lots of timber. We've got some stone, so that will help us out. We should be getting planks. Unless we need someone in the saw pit. Let's just have a look at the construction saw pit. Woodcutters, saw pit. That's what we need. We need that for the planks. That's why we're not getting any. So if I... Let's take a risk and just take the berry lady off for the time being. Berries aren't going anywhere, but we need some planks so we, that we can upgrade and build a church and start trying to upgrade the village itself, get more people in. I wish, the only thing is sometimes I'd like to move the wells or whatever, but you have to demolish them to move them, which just seems annoying uh, and silly, but hey, it's all fine. So they're working, the plough in the fields. At some point when we can afford to, we'll get um, a dedicated oxen or horse to plough the fields properly rather than by hand. That would be really cool. I haven't done that yet, so I really would love to see that as well. Okay. I need more families. I need more families. But at least they're ploughing. We've got people hopefully producing planks soon. In here. Logging. I mean, we can take these people off as well. I know he's got a stall, but we we don't have a lot of families, so I need to chop and change according to what I need at the time. So it may be that I'm just conscious about the trees, that's all. We might need some more planted. I wonder if... Let's see. Where do you find hide... Just curious as to see whether the goats are actually producing any hide yet. Mm. We might need a tannery, actually, thinking about it. Let's go here. What if we build a tannery? There you go. That might help. And then hopefully we get a stall for clothing as well, which all the villagers want. And it will help with the upgrading the burgers plots as well. Although I, don't, I just don't know how much one family of goats is going to produce, but still. We're cooking now. We are cooking. Slowly growing. As long as we've got food for the winter, which I think we're fine. Fuel is more than fine, so I'm going to take him off a second and put him in the forester's hut just so that he can plant some more trees ready for us because that is equally important, especially as we rely heavily on fuel. Okay. And then when it comes to the winter months, we don't need people on the farm because there's nothing we can do. Um, seasonal resources are gone, firewood consumption doubled and lack of firewood might cause freezing. So yeah, sheep shearing is forbidden, which is good. We haven't got any sheep yet, but we will definitely be looking at that. Oh, excellent. Thank you, bandits, for stealing all of my goodies. That's lovely. Love that for me. Uh, so winter officially starts in December. So we've got another month for the harvesting and the ploughing here. He's hard at work, hopefully. How are we looking on planks? Still no planks. Come on, dude. Do your thing. You surely have enough. We need to build a church. That is the next thing. We do have the trade... I think built now, but we don't have any trades people in in there as of it. Oh, it's still being still being built. I guess it's quite far away, so it takes a bit of travel. <laughs> oh, it's getting nasty. I hope we don't get anything caught by the uh, thunder and lightning. That would be terrible. That's good. 
we, we're fine. <laughs> Come on, plankies. Give us some planks. Under construction for the tannery, which is good. Oxen is really busy at work. Everyone's so busy. Cool. And then you're probably going to go and build the rest of the trade centre and then we should be good for the time being for construction. I'm going to concentrate on just fuel, food, getting through the winter months, getting some planks ready to build the church. That's the next objective. Hopefully he's planting some more trees. I wonder if we can come down here. Come on. There he is, our mate. Look at the beautiful colours as well. The autumn leaves, wonderful. Where are we off to? Are we planting some stuff? Oh, it looks like we might be. Oh, he's getting wood. Fair enough. The opposite of what I just said. That's good, we need that. Okay, let's just zoom out a bit. Right, okay, any planks yet? 10 planks, oh, we're halfway there. Excellent, we are halfway there. I think we have enough baggage plots, but that will be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven families. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just gonna demolish this and move this because I want to build some more houses just here. Let's say that. That will do. And then we can put the well here. Looks like it's a good spot. Cool. And then the church can be central. You see that the camp has gone now. We've got the hitching posts and some supplies. Hopefully we'll use them up soon. The stable. We can upgrade it to stable. Let's just do that quick. I know it used two planks, but we have 13 planks now. So we're cooking now. Cooking on gas with the old plankage. I suppose because, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Maybe you guys could use those supplies first before the, the supplies that are sheltered. That might be worth worth a, a thought. So we're in December now, so this will be the last month of harvesting and ploughing and stuff. Not harvesting, uh, laying seeds. <laughs> And then we can take this family off because there's nothing they can do now until it is harvest time, which is literally autumn again. So the crops will grow, possible droughts, and we might keep them on. We might put them back on for the summer, I think. So yeah, but it's definitely winter now. We're starting to see some snow. Make sure we've got... We haven't got any woodcuts, but we've still got some fuel there, so that's good. 15 is definitely catching up now. We leave the forester there for a bit. Just keep an eye on our fuel. Still got eight months of fuel, so we're fine. We're fine through the winter, absolutely. And food's fine. We used to stone, but I mean, I can't do anything about that, honestly. If they could just nick this stuff rather than in here, that would be great. We don't have anyone in the storehouse at the moment because I just don't have the, the members, the families to spare. But hopefully with these constructions of new homes, we can get some more people in. I can get someone on the tannery, which will really, really help the market and the, these upgrades that we require here. So they require fuel, food and clothing and obviously church. Excellent, yay, we've got the stable built, that's perfect. So that'll be ready when we can afford another oxen. Uh, I need 20 here and I don't have have that yet. Um, I wonder, 
Uh, amount of money owed by villagers can be used for import or converted treasury via tax policy. So that will be when we can build the manor house, which I think will be after the stable. Um, sorry, after the church, we'll have a look at that because I think you need a fair amount of stuff. I th thought maybe needs stone. We have stone, no. I mean, we could build it. We have 20 planks. <laughs> Right, so where do we want it? Do we want it here? Let's have it back a bit, because you can, it'll show you in a minute, you can add on. So yeah, if you, this work is in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of the castle and plan the construction of new wings, towers, etc. When you finish commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one constructed for now cost is also fixed. Wonderful, so you can add towers which is cool walls and gates garrison tower that might be quite good so you could build that there and then a tax office everybody loves loves them not so what if we do that so it's all fixed price wise let's get here on the go this is going to be really good for influence etc so we need to think about these things, unfortunately, the tax office, etc., getting the influence going. And at some point, I can build like a, I'll build a fort and stuff. But the garrison tower might be quite good for um, the villagers, just a bit of protection whenever we actually have an army, which we definitely don't. So yeah, we'll build that. That's highest priority. And then once that's done, we'll get some uh, more planks and we'll build the church. So yeah, that's good, that's good. The baggage plots have been built, fantastic. Tannery is ready. Right, so I think January, we can't do anything here now. So we're gonna take them off. We'll leave them unassigned at the moment so we can just get this construction underway. Uh, keep an eye on the fuel. So we've got six months of fuel. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, we should be good for the time being. I mean, to be honest, it's a higher demand in the winter. So I know I say six months, but it's probably more like three, four, because they will use a lot more fuel, obviously, in the winter. Yes, let's fast forward, let's get this construction started. I would have thought, as they're constructing this, the trade center is built now. Um, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Ah. That's ready to go. So that's good. We'll have a look at that at some point. At the moment, we just need to concentrate on our village, our fields, our food, fuel here. And then when we have a surplus, we can start trading things out and importing things as well. I'm thinking about just weapons and stuff. However, you can upgrade the burgage plots to then start actually being a cobbler, um, building and making equipment such as the bows, the spears, etc., as well, and you can trade them out. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do first. It would be great to be uh, self-sufficient and then trade out, but we'll we'll just have to find out. And then if we can build this regional wealth, worst comes to worst, we can then hire some mercenaries. Although we will need some influence, and as he says, there it can be gained from the tithe. Conquering brigands and upgrading your churches and manors. So yeah, that that will be something that we need to remember and consider. How are we looking at planks? 18, so we're almost ready now for the church, which is gonna be very much the center of this hub. Going well. He's hopefully planting some new trees. Might take him off at some point and get him to just go onto the woodcutter's lodge. Make sure we're we're good for fuel. Click on taxes tab after selecting your manor. Let me just do that. Uh, set the levels of taxation to access and boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poorer. <laughs> okay, so where? I don't think I've built it yet, have I? Let's just have a look here. The taxes tab. 
Okay, especially as we region after you reach the next settlement level. Oh yes, we did level up, didn't we? So we need to think about this as well. Be granted a de uh, development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay, so we have. Oh, that I've just done. It. I clicked on it without realizing, but. Our apple orchard produces apples. Apples harvest happens around September every year until the trees are fully grown, which takes around three years, but which is produced only a fraction of the yield. So, looks like we're doing that then. Oops. Oh, well. That's fine. Policies. I'm not sure I want to do any policies at the moment. Twice as fast. Rich deposits. Cost of reduced yields. And... Fasting is, is not a thing for me at the moment. So, we need to look at apples. Um, where will they be? Here? No. That's mining apples. We haven't got the honey yet, which is another good thing. How the frick do you do the apples then? God damn, I can't believe I clicked on that. I mean, do you do it through here? Oh, there's apples there. Not enough wealth. Okay, well, they'll be ready, I guess, at some point. Oh, with the bandits, just frickin' stop. Honestly. Right, taxes, here we go. So there's tithe, which is the church. There's your surplus food that is given to the church. And I think, yeah, we want to be doing that uh, let's do 10% because I don't want to give all the food to them I don't really want to do land tax at the minute so we'll just leave that as it is for time being we don't we don't need to worry about that right now right so let's look at our plank situation 23 let's get the church up Right, where do we want it? We want it. Oh, wait a minute. What do I need? Why is it saying not enough? What is that? Stone. Oh, rubbish. Um. Okay, well, we're going to have to get some stone then. Uh, here we go, here we go. The mining starts already, but stone's pretty good actually, honestly, because you can you can get quite a lot of stone from these areas and you can then trade them as well. And people are quite quick on doing the old stone mining. Okay. Let's get that. Highest priority. Why do I have to carry this alone? Swords, mate. Because we can't afford another oxen. Not yet, anyway. Makes sense to have it here, right? Seeing as the stone is, is directly next. We've received reports of a bandit raiders roaming the nearby islands. Yeah, track that. Ooh. We have 365 days to be prepared for these raiders, which is concerning. <laughs> I won't lie. That concerns me. Right. Now we need to think here. We have four months. Four months of food, four months of fuel. We have no berry deposits available right now. We can put him on the woodcutters. So that will help with the fuel. And then by the time it's... When do these deposits start up again? We can start foresting, foraging for these berries. Uh... March, so it should be soon that we can start getting this in. Oh, we have some new family members. Excellent. Yeah, this should start up again soon, so we'll keep an eye on the berries. Let's just get this built. Construction finished. Ah, excellent. So we want... I'm going to put two people on here, so just so that we can get some stone ASAP. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look, 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 look. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, let's take... We need a woodcutter, really. 
Let's just take you off logs for the time being, put you on some foraging, please, because we need to get those berries underway and ready. We're getting more families in, so we're going to have to try and get as much as we can ASAP. Um, and then when are we looking? Summertime for the crops to grow and then harvesting in September. Okay, good. And then what we want to do is start looking at maybe building a windmill for the wheat. Oh, look how good this looks. Look how good this looks. We run through the field. Love it. Okay. So... The wheat we want, windmills and an oven and a granary. We need the granary. That's what we need. So where's the storage hut here? Needs a fair amount of stone, but we are we are mining for stone at the moment, so that's fine. Get that ready. And then hopefully there are people here. Yes? Yes. Here we go. Good. Get cracking. We need... What was it that we needed? Ten stone? Right, they're already... They're already on that straight away. That's just what I mean. The stone... The stone mining is very good. We all know what that means, don't we? So many... Ah! We are ready. We are all ready right let's go excellent i love it this is coming together now okay we'd like to get someone in the tannery at some point we need more families we're already stretched we could probably get someone off here because we already look they're already at 27 out of 50 like madness and let's get someone on the tannery because then they can open up a, a stall themselves and start selling clothing, which is definitely another thing that we need to concentrate on. Yes, it is. And we have someone on the harvesting here. Good. Woodcutter, what have we got? Five months so far, okay. That's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Okay. Storehouse and the granary needs to be built, but I think we should have this as the highest priority right now. Get them their church. It's very important for these villages to have a church. Wintery, rainy March, typical of England. Winter is never over. <laughs> Come on, start building. I want to see. Yes. Oh, yes. Excellent. A new family. Cool. Imman Roof is being claimed. We are not going to get involved in that. You can do, if you press this, you can resolve the claim on the battlefield, which we literally are incapable of doing right now. Our crops are looking fine. So we've got the granary. The granary will store the wheat or the ploughed wheat um, there. And then from there, we will go into the windmill. The windmill will produce the flour. Then the flour goes into the the communal oven the communal oven will cook and make bread so that's another food source that we definitely are keen on getting i know it says 323 ish days but i'm very concerned about this this is gonna be make it or break it basically for our villagers if we don't get we've got some influence now if we don't get enough army members we're kind of going to be in a, in a pickle. So you can go here. You need treasury funds for this. We've got the influence, but we don't have any funds. So the trading might be something that we need to look at because I just am not confident that I'm going to get the army together for the raiders as well and all of the equipment that they need. So trade may be something that we have to look at. Right, so let's just, while they're doing that, 
go over to the trade post and see what we can do. We do have a member that we can put on here. So we have a lot of stone. So I need, I still need to make some money. I don't know how you do that, you know, to open up these trade posts. So I can export stone, but I need to open up the trade post. So for paying to establish a trade route, dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific type of good. But I don't know how to get the monies. Ah, oh, tax. I guess we might have to just do that temporarily so we can open up some trade, um, trade routes. So if I go in here and just have 10%, let's do that. And I'm gonna do that for the food because we need to make sure we have enough food for everyone. We've only got four months worth at the moment. How are we doing here? Yeah, how's the tannery doing? We have a stall. We have a tannery stall. We have a clothing stall, hopefully. So, yeah. We're getting there. We are getting there. Hopefully these update soon. Because we definitely got the stalls there. Come on, girls and boys, get this built. Ooh, well, hopefully it's not going to affect us. Uh, how are we going here? May. Okay, we're in May. That's fine. Excellent. That's what I like. Maybe put one of them on berry picking as well. Yeah. Oh, good. Some more members. Pretty, pretty awesome. Get this built. They're so slow on building this. Surely you want your church. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Oh, we have one coin. Excellent. Worst comes to worst, I will have to just raise the taxes so we have enough to hire mercenaries and open up trade, trade, uh, Roots and things like it's just gonna have to be, but it won't be a permanent thing. Oh, look, construction has started. Let's go down and watch. Where's my other mallet? Where's my other mallet? Looking good. Can't go in, unfortunately, but still. I can see it going up. Careful with that beam there. Look at that. It's so cool. I love the animation. It's it's really impressive. That one guy has done all of this. It's so so good. Oh, don't have the words. Whoop. Almost done. We just need the fencing around. We've got the other stools up now. So we've got clothing, food, fuel. Fantastic. It's what we like. Excellent. So now the church is built, question mark, maybe. Excellent, right? Let's. Cool. So that is where I'm going to leave it today. I think we've done quite a good amount of building, construction, building on the villages, coming in. I really hope you enjoyed that. You get to see a little peek of what Manor Lords is about, how nice and chilled it is. Just a a lot of fun um don't see much of the army stuff uh, and the bandits to begin with but later on that is definitely uh an issue that you need to address but if you want to see more please let me know or if there's anything else you want me to look at or play there's hades 2 i think it's just come out so maybe that's something just let me know give me a comment like the video i hope you've enjoyed it take care and until next time ta-ta